This is Dabu7. And for those that missed the videos I put out about weather and technology, I put, put these videos out uh, before this hurricane hit Texas. And the timing of everything here is interesting. And the details of what's happening here, I think people need to pay attention to. We have the head of FEMA coming out saying that they're going to be in Texas now for years. For years. FEMA is an agency that has different uh, connections in every state or, or at least a little office to help with every state. But they're not massive in numbers. Oftentimes, they lean on other agencies to come to their help and aid and fall back on the military or National Guard for their help from there. Now, we've all talked about an apocalyptic scenario where camps would be set up or something like that. And I think most often people think about this in terms of the whole United States. Well, that could, in my opinion, it could never happen with just those agencies because they don't have enough manpower. You're seeing that here in Texas. And there's some things I think we need to pay attention to. They are saying they're going to be here for years. Stretching all their resources and manpower very thin. Okay, so what happens if a disaster hits in another area? They're already trying to use their military. They get on boats and using helicopters just one spot at a time. And it's a very slow process while you have huge areas that are underwater. Completely devastated. People missing. Buildings collapsed. Okay, so... FEMA is going to be here for years now. So these people that have lost their homes, they're going to have to be housed somewhere. It's going to be interesting to see where, how. And these are things you should pay attention to because I'm telling you, when they get spread thin and they can no longer bring in hardly any other support from the military, the state, or the feds, do you know what's next? International aid. That's the name of it. That most people will say, oh, bring it, bring it. You need to pay attention because this is when blue helmets enter the scene. In a scenario like this. Where it's so bad, we need international. And that's how it will all be labeled. Once they're in, they're in. Once they're here, they're here. And something so widespread and people suffering so bad, if they're here in the name of help and peace, this is everything I've ever warned you about it, you know, on a smaller scale. So you need to pay attention to the outcome of this and how they handle it. And your know, prayers go out to everyone down there dealing with this. What I'm telling you is this is going to be ongoing for a long time. And who, who knows what is going to come down the pike? What happens if another hurricane comes through and hits this area in the coming months after it's already been devastated like this? Already crippled. This is a large area. Millions of people affected here. Big time. And I can't stress enough, it's important to pay attention to how they handle this and how it all plays out because that is how it's going to be on a larger scale. If they can't handle it in one state, imagine if there was multiple disasters in multiple states, different areas, even larger. That is what I want you to see. And we know they have the technology to do things like with HARP, Heat up the upper ionosphere. We know they have the cloud seeding and everything else, the geoengineering. We know they have the ability to affect these systems. How come we never hear reports of they're going to get out here and try to cool down or kill this storm system? We never do. We never hear of them trying to use their technology in a positive way to influence it or, 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 or stop it. Their silence is screaming at me that maybe the opposite is going on. And if that is happening, it is something that is so large scale, many people will never see it or understand it. If weather could be weaponized, how could you ever prove it? Well, the best way is to know 
what they're dealing with, what they're working with. And when you know they have the technology to do certain things. And like I said, they have the technology right now to buffer or to enhance these storms. You simply hit the eye of a massive storm with a lot of heat. You energize it. Harp does exactly that. It gives off a burst of energy. Heating up the upper ionosphere. Now, if you could target the center of a storm system, you do the same thing. It's pretty simple. Blast it with heat in the middle, charge it up. And in, in essence, you could steer it. Knowing that they've even done this in the lab and shown that they could do this and that they're not making any attempt to come out and say, oh, we're going to try and steer this thing away or back out to sea and put on display the awesomeness of the technology. It's almost like there's no talk of it. So if you're not stopping it, then what are you doing? Is what I'm asking. Seeing the bigger picture here on this world stage. This has been Dabu7. I'll leave a link. I will continue to update with more information as things change. Prayers going out to everyone out there in Texas. I know I got a lot of subscribers out there. Old school, Nick DeWolf, a bunch of others that are down there dealing with this. Prayers to you, man. All of you. Much love. Stay sharp. And get at me if you got any information you want me to get out there. Dabu7yahoo.com And make sure to tune in live Friday nights for Underground World News on my other channel, Dabu777. Make sure to subscribe there. When I go live, 9 p.m. Eastern, sometimes it's only live because we drop bombs. And sometimes that's just the way it is. So I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu7. Peace.